This is how I clean a keyboard, by the way. I just get some Fantastic here, spray it on the end of the toothbrush, and just scrub these keys. This keyboard's pretty disgusting, so it really needs this. And it will be squeaky clean by the time I'm done, so. You can see it's already looking pretty good up top, so. I'll finish this and show you the end product. Alright, and here's the final product after scrubbing this thing down. As you can see, these keys are rather shiny here from use over time. As most of these are, because this keyboard was pretty well used. But yes, now it's much, much cleaner. Obviously, underneath the keys, there's quite a bit of grime that a dishwasher cycle would probably take out, but I don't want to risk that since the bottom is made of metal. I don't want this thing to rust, so... As long as the keycaps are clean, I'm fine. If it, if it really gets that disgusting underneath, I'll remove the keycaps and clean it that way. But this is good enough to use right now, so... Man, these BTC, BTC dome switches are nice. So... Yeah, that's the final product of cleaning that keyboard. Alright folks, we are at the helm of the Packard Bell Legend 3540, my Windows 95 and DOS gaming machine. And I have installed the 5.25 inch floppy drive on the bottom here. I've also brought, some of you longtime viewers may remember these, I got these uh, floppy disks at the, at the Goodwill a while back. There's There are some DSDD floppies. Uh, they look like they're 360k. Yeah, they're 360k floppies. So they're not very high capacity, but this will just test whether the drive works. I do not plan to use this floppy drive for, uh, uh, you know, making my own discs unless the game is that hard to find. Uh, in that case, I just put it on a th I put it on a three and a half inch floppy. But I plan if I have, but I plan to use this for games that of floppies that I actually buy online. Like, uh, you know, maybe the old PC booter games I can get to work on here. I'm not sure. Uh, but stuff like that, like 80s computer games is what I'm getting at for five and a quarter inch stuff. So, there you have it. I've also put the Packard Bell keyboard down here. So now that it's nice and squeaky clean. Looks wonderful. I love this keyboard. <laughs> so... Let's uh, start this thing up. First I need to get into the BIOS. Give it a B drive. I heard the floppy drive go so hopefully it works. Alright. Floppy options. Let's see what we got here. I think this is a 1.2 meg drive. Wow, this thing actually supports 2.88 meg, meg drives. That's surprising. But let's try 1.2 meg and see what happens. I think that's what this drive is. So let's uh, save and exit here. See if it detects the floppy. Yep, detected the floppy. Very nice. So I'll start Windows and we'll format a disk and see if the drive works. Oh no! Alright. I've gotten most of the DOS games to work as well, just as an update to that. I figured out what the problem was. I did not, uh, most of the files were write protected, so they were freaking out. That was the biggest issue I had, so I got all that working now. So. Let's try a floppy. This is these are sealed floppies. I haven't opened these yet, so let's do an unboxing of these floppies right here on camera. Check it out. Let me just unwrap it. All right, let's see what kind of floppies we have here. Take the top off here. Ah, free color discs, but the rest of them are just regular 360k DSDD floppies. I got labels too, it looks like. They all come in sleeves too, which is really nice. So, 
I think we should use the free color disc as a test formatter. These are the labels. Cool. Let's try... Let's use the free disc since I can afford to lose that. It's a color disc. It's blue, so why not? All the rest of these can stay in the box. Alright, here we have a floppy. 360K. Remember when floppies were actually floppy? Woohoo! <laughs> Alright, let's stick this floppy in there and see how well it works. Check that out. Five and a quarter inch floppy right there. Alright, let's see how it reads the disk. I'm going to click on the drive. Oh, spring to life. Looks like we have a disk. Alright, let's copy something to this disk and see if we can get it to work. So I'll go into my DOS games folder here. Let's copy a small game on here and see if I can get it to work. Like, uh, hmm. Is this Commander Keen 2? Yeah, I'll copy that on there and see what happens. 301k. Yeah, that'll just barely fit on there, actually. So, let's copy the game over and see if it works. It appears to be working fine. Oh, yeah. That vintage PC sound. This might take this floppy a while. Oh no, it didn't. Alright. See if the game runs off the floppy. Make sure all of it isn't right protected here. Let me uh, do that real quick. Nope, it's fine. Let's start the game. Yep, it runs off the floppy. So the floppy drive appears to work. Apogee! Yep, the game runs off the floppy and everything. Sweet! How do I go forward? Oh, there we go. Yeah, floppy drive seems to work fine. Oops. Woohoo! Yep. All these games off the floppy seem to work fine. Quit to DOS. Yep, that five and a quarter inch drive works perfectly fine. Sweet. At least it does with uh, 360K discs. I think this would be a 1.2 meg drive though, so. Eventually I'll get some 1.2 meg discs and I'll try that out. So for now I will delete this folder from this floppy and put it back in the box. Yeah, floppy. So there you have it. That was a test that floppy drive, and it seems to work fine. Sweet. But there you have it. I got some 3M floppies to play around with. So let me put that back in its sleeve here. There you have it. The five and a quarter inch drive works. The keyboard works great. I'm happy.